let's take a look at how we can perform summarizations on date columns. First, we'll take a look at the long way of doing it. And then we look at a nice convenient way of summarizing on date columns. So here we are looking at the economics uh, table that uh, is included as part of ggplot. And we are looking at the column called date. right? So first what we want to do is the date column called date is actually a date column. It's a date object. But what we would like to do is to extract the year from that. In order to extract the year, you can use this function as dot po 6 lt economics dollar date and then you can do dollar year and this gives you the number of years since 1900 so to get the actual year we add back 1900 okay so don't worry too much about this function as dot po 6 lt just use it as it is similarly we, I want to extract the month later we'll do that but you know in a similar fashion you can extract the month by doing mon but what we want to do is now that we've extracted year what I want to do is to do economics group by year. Year is just a number now. And then I'm saying summarize year pop is max of pop. There is a column called pop which contains the population. And the economics data frame contains data by month. It's called monthly data. So for every month we've got the population. And what I want to do here is to say the population for a year is going to be nothing but the maximum population by month for that year. In other words, for a particular year, say we take the year 1920, the population for the year is going to be the maximum of the populations from January through December of that month of that year 1920. That's what we are doing here, right? Saying group by year and then summarize year population as max pop. And so you get for the year 1967, the population is that much in some units, I think millions or tens of thousands or whatever it is. Okay, and we've got this data. So that's one way to do summarizations on date columns. So this is for the year. Okay, so that is summarizations on date columns. Now, similarly, I'm considering now the uh, the Walmart data. And again, I'm saying Walmart is read underscore CSV, Walmart at CSV. And I'm extracting, uh, first of all, of course, we need to convert the date because remember the file Walmart.csv contains the dates as strings. And when you just read it initially, it comes in a string. So we use the as.date function and convert it. Say, take the original date column and format it as percent %m, percent %d, percent %y. We've discussed this earlier. So now it becomes a proper date column. And then from the date column, I'm extracting the year and the month. Remember, the Walmart data contains daily stock data for Walmart. Okay. So now what I'm doing is for every month, so since we have daily data, but let's say what we want to do is to take uh, the data for every month and find the highest data uh, for each month, right? That is the highest of the high daily high prices for every month. So to do that, we get group by year comma month and then summarize month high is maximum of high. Remember high is a column in the uh, walmart.csv data and for every day high contains a high price for that day. So obviously the high price for a month is nothing but maximum of the high price for every day of the month. And since we have grouped it by year and month, okay, so we've got uh, all the days for a particular month forming a particular group. From that group, we find the maximum high price and that gives us the monthly high price. And here you go, this is the monthly high prices. Of course, we can go fancy and then, you know, pipe this further on to ggplot and generate a plot of monthly highs and so on. All that we can do. Okay, so this is how you do summarizing on date columns and I would call it summarizing on date columns the long way. Right? And a problem with this kind of approach is, well, what if you wanted to format by weeks? What if you for want to format, I mean not format, summarize by week or summarize bi-monthly and so on? Then uh, we are stuck. We can't do it by this approach at all because, you know, we, uh, the, 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 the data is not amenable to doing it like that. We've got daily data, but then to do a bi-monthly and to do all of that, we'll have to go into the data columns and start mucking around with the values. And that becomes pretty complicated. Fortunately for us, there is this package called Lubridate, which makes all of those things very easy. So first of all, of course, we have to install the package. Okay, this was what we did earlier, summarize 
year pop is max pop group by year this is what we had done earlier but with lubridate you can do this okay of course prior to doing this we have to install the package lubridate and we have to load the package lubridate okay I haven't shown that code here uh, I'll include it when I give you the code for this particular uh, session okay so here we are saying economics now I'm saying group by year equals floor date date comma year and summarize year pop is max pop okay so notice that I didn't have to do any conversion of the uh, of the date the date was there we're just using it as it is I didn't have to do any extraction of any columns all I'm saying is floor date date comma year floor date tells you for any given date what is the floor by this particular criterion right so for example if I had March 1st of a particular year the floor by year is basically January 1st of that year right whereas if I had March 15th and I said floor date date month then that date would then the floor date is March 1st okay so whatever period you're mentioning here the floor date is basically the first date of that unit okay so if you want to group by data by year you can just say year floor date date year want to group by month just say month and there are many other possibilities that we we'll look at later right so this way then we can then say year pop is max pop okay the grouping is already done and you get the results like this right so notice that all the dates are January 1st of 67 January 1st of 68 and so on okay so this is a much more convenient way to do this not only because you don't have to extract the columns uh, extract the components of the date but also because you have many more options in terms of how to summarize by the dates so in other words the lubridate package is much more aware of dates in fact it's not just handling dates it handles date times okay so take a Walmart example that we did and um, this time we want to get the monthly high values right so we say group by month equals floor date date comma month and we're saying summarize the high price is maximum of high that's the same as before and then this time we are going ahead and plotting the high price as well and we get this okay so what this is doing is plotting the high prices by month for the Walmart stock right for every month it has taken the high price for that month and it has plotted that okay and the way it got that is in order to group the data by month we did floor date date comma month okay so what will happen is all of the dates in let's say the month of March 2005 all of them would get converted to March 1st 2005 and all the let's say September dates in 2007 will all get converted to September 1 2007 and therefore uh, you have you can group it by the by the month right by that whatever it is that you have extracted and then you can do normal functions like maximum minimum etc so here we are taking again uh, this time week notice that we are doing floor date by week so every date of a particular week will get uh, converted to the first day of that week first date of that week right so this is something we would not have been able to do with the earlier approach but lubridate is a function that understands dates uh, very well and therefore you can even do summarizations by week this is a plot of the weekly high prices for the Walmart stock now some other options in terms of what other summarizations you can do you can do floor date because uh, all the date objects in R are really date time objects they can there's they can have a time component so here you're seeing 2009 August 3rd 2009 and this is uh, a particular time with milliseconds and so on okay so 120159 uh, seconds 23 milliseconds that's the whole time right so given an object with all of these components you can do floor date to point one second second minute hour day week month by month quarter season half year year you can summarize by all of these characteristics okay and in addition there are functions called round date and ceiling date 
right so what round date would do is it would round off the date to the next uh, to the level that you're saying so for example if you say round it off to the week then every date will get rounded off to the beginning of the following week okay and ceiling date uh, would be the following week round date would get rounded up or down sorry round date uh, is just like rounding of numbers right if you do round 15.5 it will become 16 whereas if you round 15.45 it will become 15 similarly with dates okay and uh, ceiling date will basically take it to the next higher unit so for example if you take 15.3 and you take the ceiling it will become 16 similarly with dates let's say you have a date on a particular Wednesday you take the ceiling date it will get rounded off to the following Sunday assuming Sunday is the beginning of the week okay so again I'm just giving you an idea of all the fine things that you can do with dates using the function using the package lubridate okay I've shown examples only for floor date but it'll be exactly the same with round date and ceiling date just the function name is different everything else is going to be just the